What's up guys, we got a brand new Tundra behind me. We're gonna be building this thing out. We're gonna chop it to pieces. Customer gave us the go ahead, so we're gonna take it from this to this. All right, so we got it in the shop. We got about two and a half days to build this out. Three if I really suck, the time's ticking. Let's get started on the covert. All right, so you're probably wondering why you would go through all of this uh, just for a front bumper on your truck. If you look at this truck, this is the same Tundra we have, all plastic. There is nowhere to safely hook on here to make a clean recovery. All right, so that brings us to the CBI covert bumper. So this is the winch tray. The covert bumper is gonna be a two-piece design. So you have the winch tray and you have the bumper shell. So this is an awesome way to install because you can kind of get it all installed incrementally. So we gain our recovery points, we gain winch mounting, and on the shell, you can mount a 20-inch light bar. Let's get cracking and finish this up. All right, so we just finished up the covert bumper and it just looks amazing. I mean, you could tell this bumper just tucks right in here almost like it was meant to be. So we're gonna kick off day two with the rear bumper. Let's go get on it. All right, so we just finished installing the rear bumper and there are so many benefits to having this bumper. You get uh, all steel construction, protection on the sides, you have an integrated step, uh, all your sensors are gonna work, blind spot parking, everything works just as Toyota designed it to. Uh, we have bolt-on swing arm capabilities, recovery points, you can get some lighting built into here. This is a great setup and I think a must have for this truck. Got the skid plate in place, we're just tightening down some bolts, then we'll move on to the roof rack. Let's see if I can swing them. Just gotta get it. Need some momentum here. All right, so we got the last day going down right now. We got sliders to do, we got Prinsu rack, and we got ditch light brackets. Time to get after it. So we just finished up the sliders. I'm gonna back this vehicle off the lift to give us more access to do the Prinsu rack. We'll be well on our way. All right, so we're almost there. I'm just tightening down the Prinsu rack right now. This rack is awesome. It's super lightweight and just low profile. Fits a vehicle really well. Um, all these extrusions, you can move the bars around. There's just a lot of versatility with this Prinsu rack and sky's the limit on mounting on this thing. I mean, you could really deck it out how you need to. So we got a lot of lighting going into this build, so we went ahead and installed an S-Pod. This is an awesome way to control all your lighting, different electrical accessories. They can all run to this guy and all be controlled in one nice, clean place. So now we moved on, getting some ditch lights installed. Just a couple bolts here, get them on each side, throw some sweet lights on them. We got the ditch lights polished off with some really nice LP4s from Baja Designs. These things are amazing. They really light up well. The amber is great in fog, dusty conditions, all that stuff. So unveil the prize, move right on. So we had some extra time and an extra bed rack laying around. So why not throw it on to complete the build? All right, guys, we're at the finish line. Three long days, but look at the way this truck turned out. I mean, it's ready to wheel. We got Warren Winch, S-Pod, Baja lights, plus all of our awesome CBI and Prince products. If you like how this truck turned out, jump on our website and start your build today.